another day on the Camino de Santiago. Today, it's again, it's a short day. I'm walking from Lyon to, I don't know the name of the village. <laughs> no, just the all sorts of long names of the villages. Well, I stopped there and then the next day, I don't remember even what was the name of the village I stopped, but yeah, it's just 21 kilometer away. Well, and yeah, today, I think it, I've walked almost uh, more than seven kilometers and there's supposed to be a split somewhere, a church, La Virgen del Camino, and a split, one route goes along the road and the other route is like a scenic route, goes through fields and well, I'm planning to take that one, but <laughs> I'm not sure, it's supposed to be at seven kilometers, the church. Well, I've walked seven and I don't, I don't see anything looking like a church, but well, uh, hopefully I haven't missed it yet. Oh, I think this is it. This is the church, the Virgen del Camino. I, I just didn't expect it would be like a modern building. I thought it would be like an old chapel. And well, uh, for me it was seven and a half kilometers from, from the albergue where I stayed. And now I guess so I probably have to go left and well, here it is uh, exactly eight kilometers you can see this is the Camino Frances Strait it's a, it's a historical route but now there is a well the road or highway built so you will just walk for two days to Astorga along the, along the road and to the left it's the alternative Camino and I think it, it's five kilometers longer but over two days, so it's not uh, not that bad. And well, uh, the the alternative route it goes through through a, through the countryside. That's at least what I heard. Well, I think I'm gonna go on the alternative route probably. I've walked 17 kilometers already and it was fine. I met a, a couple of French couple and yeah, we just, I walked uh, with them most of the way. Obviously if you meet someone and you just talk and the, <laughs> the walk goes really fast. If you think that La Meseta finished in Lyon, <laughs> you are mistaken. We're still in La Meseta. It just still uh, is flat fields and oh, that's it that's <laughs> well i'm almost in, in my town there you can see it maybe less than a kilometer left and i'm just so happy that today is almost over but now oh, today i feel like really moody and tired and just like don't feel like walking at all and it's a little bit it's cloudy not a very nice day luckily no rain yet well and yesterday i didn't even go out like that late well i had we went and had a couple of glasses of wine and then we went to the concert in the cathedral of leon that was great about finished at 10 30 and then uh, I think I ended up going to bed somewhere around midnight. Well, yeah, I think maybe I didn't have enough sleep. I slept about six hours a day and just, yeah. Well, you always have on the Camino, you have these ups and downs. Well, some days you feel really energetic and like excited. <laughs> and some days, I don't know, you just don't feel like, like it anymore. Well, today, one of my bad days. Uh, I was quite lucky. I actually made it to the albergue just before it started really raining. Uh, uh, I've had a sandwich, cup of coffee, and I'm dry, waiting for check-in.
day 22 on the Camino Frances. Uh, today I started a bit later, you can see the almost sunrise time. Uh, because today I have, I'm going to Astorga and I have a room in a spa hotel booked, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> I even booked some, I don't know, like a spa, whatever, therapy stuff so for 13 euro. I can access the Turkish bath and the jacuzzi and all the steam room, all the kind of fancy things. Yeah, that's why today I'm not really in a hurry. It's, it's uh, going to be quite a long day. I think it's 31 kilometer to walk to Astorga. But it's certainly fine because I'm just anticipating my day of relaxation. Well, 31 kilometers done for today and it went actually really quick and there were a couple of really cool stops on the way. Well, uh, it, it took almost six hours to walk it, but I'm, well, I'm quite happy about the day and well, I'm in Astorga and this is my hotel for tonight. I'm so excited to stay in private. Well, don't see much yet, but well, the room looks quite big. <laughs> this is the this is the albergue for pilgrims, for fancy pilgrims. And tonight, I uh, well, I decided to be fancy. Well, look at this. Now I can sleep just like uh, like this, or this, and let's check my my uh, bathroom. Yes, a shower and on top. A toilet, all the shower gels and shampoos and a fan. Uh, wow, 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 it's probably just a closet. Wow, and there's a mini bar. And the mini bar is a courtesy of the, of the hotel. So I can just take some beer and Coke. For later, I uh, booked a spa. Now I can go for one hour to the hotel spa and then they have a pool and a sauna and Turkish bath and a jacuzzi and, well, I don't know, other things. Yes, and uh, now I just, when I just showered and it felt so good because it's just my shower. I don't have to share it with anybody. I could just really enjoy it and take my time. Well, I'm just gonna maybe drink a Coke and, well, rest a little bit and later go for go to spa and well then i think i will have maybe um, dinner at the hotel's restaurant Uh, day 23 on the Camino Frances. Um, well, today, today I'm not in a hurry at all. I woke up at 8.30. Yeah, I'm still enjoying my my private room. 
So I just finally I could have a nice morning shower because actually in my normal life I always take a shower in the morning. But well, on the Camino, when you stay in Albergues, there is no chance. You just sort of get up at six, grab your stuff, and and, and go. Yeah, and then today I just I'm gonna take it slow because I have a place booked, uh, a bed booked in the, in the private Albergue in the next place for today where I'm walking to. And yeah, so I'm just going to take my time, pack slowly, stop for breakfast somewhere, maybe just walk a little bit around Astorga. And yeah, and start walking. I think today is 20, 24 kilometers. It's not a really long day, so I think maybe I will be um, at my albergue somewhere around 5, which is totally fine. I'm so, so lazy today. Well, there's uh, something breakfast. <laughs> Pasta, croissant, pizza de tortilla. Well, it actually looks fine. Maybe I'll just stop here and eat breakfast. Uh, I'm so lazy to walk today. The staying in the spa hotel relaxed me too much, I think. I think today is going to be a very slow day. <laughs> Just, you know, staying in a spa hotel and going to all this sauna yesterday and jacuzzi <laughs> relaxed me so much that I'm struggling to to get back on, on a track. But yes, luckily I'm booked for tonight. I don't have to rush. And well, walking out of Astorga was really easy. I think maybe it took like 15-20 minutes to walk out of the city. Well, finally, it looks like I'm out of uh, the Meseta and from, from Astorga the scenery changed quite a lot. You see it's not just flat and fields, wheat fields anymore. It's like hills and there's a little bit of here and there, there's a little bit of forest and bush. Well, now it looks nice, it looks different. And well, it's actually nice because the Meseta, it was quite a long stretch from Burgos, basically from Burgos to Astorga that you walk through through the Miseta and I actually found that many people enjoyed it I don't know maybe because it was so quiet and well but I definitely prefer more of like a hills or mountains more like a diverse scenery You can say cute of all town, but it is quite cute. Uh, Rabana del Camino. There are really many albergues here and the restaurants. Yeah, I still have about five kilometers to walk to my place, Paul, to Fonsi Badon. six kilometers and uh, 600 meters uphill and I've arrived at a um, town a village where I'm gonna stay tonight Fonse Badon it looks nice it looks really small so I don't think there will be like a shop or anything here 
well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna find my, my alberghe and yeah, maybe just do some laundry. Uh, day 24 on the Camino Frances and well uh, it's still early morning and I'm reaching the Cruz de Ferro that's the famous famous cross where people or well, some people they on the way they pick up rocks and carry them till this spot some people leave some other I don't know mem mem memorable things well I, I didn't really bring anything with me <laughs> I didn't pick up rocks, but yeah, I think it's very, very important for many people, for many pilgrims, a very important place on the, on the Camino. The scenery today reminds me a lot of the, the Camino Primitivo, the original Camino from Oviedo to Santiago. Yeah, it's all the way like this because it, it goes through, through the mountains in Asturias and it's really green and humid and yeah, you go, there are many hills and ups and downs and today it just really reminds me of that route. I'm just so, so impressed by the scenery today. It's so nice to see mountains again. And now it's not a very nice sunny day, but still, it is really beautiful here. And here comes the rain. Well, I, it's actually raining quite, quite hard. Well, I was actually I've, I've been lucky so far with the rain because uh, it's the second time in 24 days that I got rain walking. Usually, well, it rained, but by the time I was already finished. I'm about uh, three more kilometers to go, but I can see already Ponferrada. Uh, that's the city there. Actually, I'm a little bit surprised. Well, I thought it was bigger place than the previous town, but I didn't expect it would be like a like a big city. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to walk for a couple of more kilometers before I reach my my albergue. 27 kilometers, and here it is, my. Alberghe. Uh, Ponferrado turned to be quite a quite a big um, 
interesting city. I'm honestly getting a little bit tired of sightseeing because I, it's just always every place I stay basically every day almost. There is always something to see in a town or in the city. And yeah, <laughs> you can't just sit and sleep all day or do whatever. You just sort of feel like you have to go and do things and see things. <laughs> 